What's good, everybody? We are back with another NBA Live Mobile video, and today we've got the first thing in NBA Live Mobile that I've been excited about in a really long time. Most of the time, I feel like the game doesn't move a ton forward or backward. It has slight ups and downs, but for the most part, it seems like it remains in the same place. Today, they implemented the new Live Pass and NBA Live Mobile. If you guys paid any attention to the last Live Pass and NBA Live Mobile, you know it was trash. Like, terrible deal. 30 pass to unlock the base level. If you look at battle passes, season passes, whatever they're called in different games, for the most part, for the base level, they usually cost $10. The past Live Pass cost $30 for the base level, and there was nothing for free-to-play players. They've had a huge revamp to the Live Pass and NBA Live Mobile. So number one, there are now rewards for free-to-play players. And number two, it only costs $10 for the base level of the pass. So you guys can see right here, $10 for the base level pass, which will allow you to unlock 50 additional rewards, including a 91, a 92, and a 94 overall master. You can see that in the map. And then for $30, which is around what the boosted price usually is for most other games. So usually games will have like the base level pass and then they'll get you like a few levels in the upgraded pass for a certain amount. In my opinion, this is actually a good deal because you get 3,300 NBA cash, which is what like that costs $30 in the game. So that alone, you're like getting your money's worth out of it. Plus, you also get a 90 overall Donovan Mitchell. You get five levels worth and the, like, obviously the base level of the thing as well. So I'm really excited about this. We're going to look through all the rewards. I'm really hyped to see my man, Devontae Graham, got a 90 overall card. Best player on the Hornets right now. Looking at maybe getting most improved player of the year. That It'll be tough to say whether or not he actually played enough last year to get most improved. But he averaged four points a game last year and this year he's... Top 10 in assists and averaging 19 or 20 points a game right now. He is going ham. 93 point shot on him. Uh, you unlock him at 115k points. So basically the way that it works is it's a it's more of a long-term thing. It's definitely not a short-term thing. So you accumulate points basically as you play the game day by day. And the more points you accumulate, the more rewards you unlock it's basically the way the battle pass works works in most games but it's really more rewarding in this game because these will actually give you more of an advantage whereas in other games it's usually just unlocking skins that's part of the reason i'm so excited about it and the thing that really gets me excited is the free to play live pass allows you to still get really good rewards it allows you to get that Devonte graham it allows you to get that brandon ingram and obviously it's going to take a lot of grinding but they are obtainable hopefully I say that because I don't know exactly what the points are going to be. We also don't know how long this live pass lasts. So the duration of the live pass is really what's going to determine whether or not it's going to be worth it in the long run. But you guys can see right here what's kind of necessary to get each of these. So score 20 points. I'm not sure if that's just like in all game modes. So live events counting whether or not we'll have to test and see for that. Score two three-pointers with a sharpshooter lineup. Just different things. It's basically objectives, but with upgraded perks. And then at the end, you've also got additional things that you can get points with as well. So we're going to go ahead. We'll go through the uh, the free pass first. First thing is the stamina bottle. Not too exciting. Then we got a pro pack. Then moving up, we got a lineup or bust. Uh, so guarantees at least three gold plus players. Then at 50,000, you get 100 NBA cash for free. Not a bad deal. 10,000 NBA cash. Obviously, the players are going to be the thing that are actually worth grinding for in this. So, Devontae Graham, 90 overall card. Looks like a really solid card. Because they did so well with this and also offered free-to-play players rewards, I'm actually going to be spending money on NBA Live Mobile for the first time in a really long time. And I'm actually going to go for the $30 one just because it's so worth it to me. And usually it seems like the majority of the offers that they have are very greedy and just not worth it. And I want to reward them for actually putting effort into the game and actually putting in an effort to improve the game. And I think that we're going to see a lot of other things. We've got some sneak peeks at some of the real-time PvP rewards coming up. Looks super dope as well. 
So I am actually going to buy the $30 pack. We're going to see what rewards. Obviously, we get the Donovan Mitchell, which is going to be a massive upgrade for me because I think right now my best player is like an 86 or an 87. And of course, <laughs> I'm saying all these nice things and then I get a game crash. That sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. So this is going to be our Donovan Mitchell pack. I believe that'll give us our 90 overall. We're going to hit update team right there. That's a thing of beauty. you love to see it. And then we've also got our passes unlocked. So we get our stamina bottle token. We get our pro pack. We get our other pro pack. So if you have the premium pass, you get the free level rewards as well as the premium rewards, which is nice. 200 NBA cash, 10,000 coins, gold plus item. Wow, we're going to have a lot of stuff to open. Obviously, we know what the stamina bottle is going to be, so we're not going to try to hype that up or anything. We got pro packs. See if we get anything good out of those. Obviously, we'll get stamina from them as well. Uh, and we actually get a preseason top performer. I didn't even know those could be found in pro packs, so that's pretty dope. Um, we got another pro pack. I don't remember how many pro packs we had to open, actually. Um... Nothing too special in there, but that's all right. It's just pro pack gold plus item. I don't know what exactly to expect out of this. Okay, so we just have like a random, like I guess a jersey or a quartz or something like that. Oh, plus 8% coins United Center. I wonder if that's going to be something that's uh, really worthwhile. So that goes ahead and it gets us. Let's take a look at the elite rewards. Um, so at 50,000. We're going to get DeMontis, yeah, DeMontis Sabonis. So that actually goes ahead and it gets us halfway to getting him already. Uh, and obviously they're going to have a way for you to be able to skip past levels. They got to be able to make a little bit of extra cash, but every game does that. So I'm not really upset about that at all. Um, but yeah, we're going to be grinding these and seeing how quickly we can get these rewards. Obviously, I really want that 94 overall Damian Lillard card. Looks really dope. 93 three-point shot, 95 mid-range. Really solid stats all around. I believe this is one of the best, if not the best card in the game. And I'm sure there are probably people out there that have already unlocked it. So hopefully we see some gameplay for that soon. But I'm really excited about the rewards for this let me see if there's anything I was missing out on. We've got a few Game of the Night tokens right there. Uh, we get a guaranteed Elite item, so I don't know how much those go for right now, but hopefully uh, hopefully the one that we just pulled will go for a little bit. We got another Elite item right there. Hopefully we see a little bit more creativity on the, on the rewards for the Live Pass in the future. I like the players, but the items that we have in between are a little bit underwhelming so i like that we have lockdown and sharpshooter packs i wish that we saw more of those throughout and not just at the very highest tiers uh because it's going to take a lot of grinding i have a feeling to get to the highest tiers i would also like to see them give us like an actual estimate on the amount of time that we have remaining because if you go back and we go to uh if we go to campaigns it doesn't give us any amount of time, so you really have no idea how much time is remaining on the live pass for that season, and whether or not it's even going to be possible to grind for those remaining levels. So it looks like if we just add up what we're able to do for the first day, we got 1,800 plus 700, so that'll be 2,500 per day that we're able to get. Meaning to get to Sabonis, it's going to take us probably 10 days, assuming we do all these. Now, you can get additional points over here. Um, so the amount of additional points that you can get is 3,500, okay, 4,500. Um, so overall, that's close to 3,000 points that you can get per day. So we should be able to get Sabonis in probably around nine days if we're completing all of these. I'm going to be trying to grind a little bit more as I'm still trying to figure out what my schedule is going to look like. Uh, I was previously streaming like eight hours a day of Call of Duty Mobile. As much fun as that is, it's not necessarily the most effective use of my time. So I'm still in the process of getting all that figured out. Oh, and we've got new live events that I didn't even realize. Um, so I'm going to have to get to work on these as well. Looks like we got some 90 overall rewards that are going to be grindable for this one. Um... Wow, we're getting lots of content in NBA Live Mobile, and I am 100% here for it. Uh, let me know. I 
I feel like I need to do a separate video for this, but I just spent so much time. We'll, we'll just go through, take a look. So I believe uh, we've got 90 overall Dikembe Mutombo. 90 overall Seth. Oh, I'm interested to see what the stats on that Seth Curry are. Only 92 three-point shot. That's interesting. Uh, a little bit surprising that his three-point shot is lower than his mid-range, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to roll with the punches and uh, take what you can get. I'm probably going to be grinding this one too, but I'm going to have to like figure out how I'm going to balance how I use my stamina and everything because obviously I want to do the countdown to Christmas events as well. I still haven't finished yesterday's because I got too frustrated with that one live event, uh, and I am interested to see... All right. So we actually go ahead and we get a free reward for the new program in the game for day number 16. So that's pretty dope. Uh, I'm going to get to grinding on these and I'm excited to see what we've got for tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're definitely going to be grinding through as many of these as possible. And it looks like we're going to be able to get a lot of presents, which I'm assuming we'll be able to open on Christmas morning. So I'm excited for that because... That's one cool thing that I'm really glad that NBA Live Mobile does every single year because it's just a dope thing that we got to look forward to. That's going to be it for the video, though. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the squad if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.